Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video I'll be testing out the HD 5450s with the 256MB, 512MB, 1GB and 2GB VRAM capacities, hoping to find a difference in performance. But firstly a look at the cards that we'll be testing with. Finally, a quick unboxing of my most recently bought 256 megabyte model, or re-unboxing because I've already tested it. This card was quite hard to come across on eBay for making this video with, just like with the 2 gigabyte model. This one was basically brand new condition, and it came with all the accessories. Okay, now the setup. These are the GPU-Z screenshots of all the cards. The 256 megabyte model had a couple of differences. It seemed to be a slightly different GPU, but with identical specs otherwise. Hopefully not affecting results. However, I almost overlooked one thing. The fact that it had a 32-bit memory bus instead of 64-bit, like the other cards. Meaning this card would have half the bandwidth of a normal HD5450. 5.4 gigabytes a second compared to 10.8 but I managed to counteract this so I could do a fair test. I increased the memory clock of this card to 900 megahertz and reduced the memory clocks of the other cards to 450 megahertz so now bandwidth was identical at 7.2 gigabytes a second across all four cards ready for testing. Apex Legends the numbers across our current FPS, average FPS, 1% and 0.1% lows. Firstly I tested standing still, looking at the same spot to get a fair comparison between all cards. Just for this game, the videos are shown side by side overlapping each other. There was basically no difference in FPS between any card whatsoever. The game allocated nearly 1.5GB of VRAM to the 2GB card and maxed out the others. Then I tested with the character sliding down the bank, which yielded the same results. More system RAM seemed to be used for the lower VRAM capacity cards, which is to be expected, but it didn't really change performance. crisis. Firstly I tested medium settings. The game only used up to 320 megabytes of VRAM. VRAM capacity didn't make the slightest difference. If anything, the lower capacity card seemed to perform better.
Then I tested high settings. VRAM was up to 745 megabytes on the top cards and maxed out the lower cards, but didn't make a difference in performance. Again, the lower capacity cards were ahead. Fortnite, looking on the odd screen display in the title screen, the 256 megabyte card is ahead by 1 FPS. Playing the game, however, textures didn't load in fully on the 256 megabyte card. They all gave a similar terrible experience, with the 256 megabyte card feeling slightly less responsive. The game overall used around 550 megabytes of VRAM, so the other three cards had enough, or almost enough. Your scores too, the same FPS yet again, the 256 megabyte card led by a minuscule amount looking at the FPS value at the end. It's basically within error. Either way it's unplayable. Even at settings where only 256 megabytes per run was used. There's not much more to say about this game.
So GTA 5, lowest settings but with very high textures. All CODs for the 256 megabyte model perform visibly identically, with the latter model actually stuttering for the first time, with significantly increased loading times. VRAM is maxed out on all the models but the 2 gigabyte model, which uses about 1.5 gigabytes. In the last part of the benchmark, the average and percent low FPS values will be shown, and the results are pretty interesting. In the last more demanding part of the benchmark, we finally see the 256 megabyte card crack under the demands of this game, with the 512 megabyte card starting to struggle too. The bottom two cards utilization drops, even though the CPU usage is barely past 35%, only spiking to 55%. This leads me to the belief that the system RAM can't be swapped in and out of the video RAM fast enough for this game causing the stutters and the low GPU utilisation. The top two cards don't have this problem at all, being fully utilised for the whole benchmark. So the conclusion, it was hard to find a situation where there'd be a meaningful performance difference between the four models. And that was only true for GTA 5. But even with that game, it was only the one card performing visibly different to the others, with the 512MB version not far behind, just trailing behind the bigger cards. In the other games, the 256MB card would carry on using the slow DDR3 system RAM, with little to no performance impact whatsoever even having a slight edge over the other cards, only up to a useless 1 FPS. This is where maybe the specs earlier came into play, maybe the higher RAM speed for the 256 megabyte card made a bigger difference than bus width, even though the bandwidth was shown to be identical, and or maybe it's the fact that it's a slightly different GPU, even though it has identical specs. I don't know, it doesn't make enough difference to matter anyway. Finally, don't buy these cards, there are so many better options out there for the same price, for example, an Nvidia Quadro 600. Anyway, that's the end of the video, thanks for watching, please leave a like and comment below on what you thought about the video, 
And if you like my content, please subscribe too. I'll see you all in the next video.